Hello and welcome to Patched. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matt Phillips. How are you, Matt? Hi, oh, not bad, but probably not as um, not good as, as you. Not as good as this guy. Fucking cats. Yeah, anyway, we're moving on. I'm not going to turn this into a Geelong show because I've already got one of those. Um, you How got a PlayStation during the week. I did. You got a I did get a PlayStation. I Apparently did get a PlayStation. I was right there when you did it and I had no idea, but... Well, walked straight past you, but I had no time to talk because I had some valuable real estate and I thought and knowing the location that we that it was I thought just run run to the car so get you were in heading there. out as I was heading yeah. in is that right yeah yeah right okay in, in the car park yes Shit, of I all places how, yeah right I don't understand how I miss you at all one, one anyway. small child one small child distracted you and that was it which is not what you want when you're walking through a car park no distracted no, by one no. other takes on a car thankfully none of that happened and you walked past with a PS5. What have you been doing with it so far? Because it's our updates episode, so we can kind of... I might even just start with you. Um, updates episode, we talk about all the games we've been playing lately. Mato's going to kick things off. He's got a PS5. Have you done much with it at all so far? Or are you still waiting for things to download? No, I haven't got slow internet anymore. But, however, yes, I've, I've put three games on it as of... Well, it was on Thursday, so I put three games on it. Did all that other crap. And I did play it. I did. Yep. Yeah. While waiting for games to download and all this. But let me just say something first. Like, compared to the Series X, it is massive. It is huge. Yeah. Like, compared... It makes my the Series X look like a dwarf. That's how big it is. And, and my PS4 is like a quarter of the size of it. I'm thinking, my God, it's quite large. And I thought there was just the box was just padding. That's a lie. It's just that's the size of the yeah, PS5. There's like no padding at all. It's there's no um, padding. The... Just the top part about that much where your controller sits. And after that, it's just PS5. All about that's the infra- environmentally friendly stuff. There was no, there was nothing there that couldn't be recycled. No, yeah, no on. bubble wrap. No, that air bubble wrap stuff, whatever you call it. Yeah. It's just nothing but PS5. And cardboard. And a stand. <coughs> which is which is very surprising because they didn't include that with the PS4, the bastards, because you had to go buy oh, the damn yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, but I guess there was less, like, I don't know, it didn't make as much sense, I think, to stand the PS4 up vertically. Yeah, well, I found that out now after four years of having it up vertically. I just looked at it and went, oh, it just fits right there. Like, just... Why did I think of that four years ago? It was just... Go you horizontal idiot. like every console usually is. Yeah. But, yes, this thing, and also the controller, I will say, it's actually good. Like, it's actually, the feel of it is very, very, very nice. And the one thing that I got, okay, we'll go into the first game that I played on my PS5. Horizon? was the game that came, yes, for Horizon Forbidden West. I played the first, I played two hours or also known as the tutorial right, of the, the game. Yeah. But the one thing it sort of threw me off because I thought there was something wrong with my controller because I'm pressing down on the R2 button yep. when you got your, like, your little hook, get your little hook component. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at pressing it down going, why is this so difficult to push down? And then I realized like, oh, oh it's the whole, yeah, the whole like, strange thing. Because then I was, after, after I stopped aiming, I was pushing it the whole time like, Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Then got to another one. I was like, oh, it's happening again. I was like, oh, it's that whole thing that people are talking about with the what? The gimmick of the PS5. The gimmick of the PS5. And, and I, I do like it. I think it's the coolest yeah. thing ever. It's like, I never thought something like that would be just so cool. It's like the most simplest thing ever. And it's fascinating. That's all I can say. Well, I mean, I know... I know you obviously have an Xbox, so it would make a lot of sense to um, to probably play Deathloop on Xbox, considering it's on Game Pass now. Um, and it's I don't think you're not, you're PlayStation. Not, yeah, it's, it's on the extra tier. I do. do I you, do. I do. Oh, have you that. got the extra. Okay, play Deathloop yeah. on it because, um, like the the same sort of deal. Like the guns lock up in in Deathloop from time to time, and you feel that through the control. Like it just the the stick just kind of. Oh, sorry, the trigger just locks in place. It, oh really? It, yeah, it kind of it does some really really cool stuff. Now I'm sure 
Like if, if people don't kind of recognize what's going on in some of these instances, whether it's Deathloop or some other game where it kind of locks on you like that and you try and push through it, you're probably going to break a controller at some point. But, um, oh, wow. I, like I'd imagine like if you try, if you try and force it to do something that it doesn't want to do, I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't really heard stories about it. So maybe eventually there's like a, if, if enough force is ply, uh, applied, knuckle under <laughs> is kind of how the control approach. So I don't know. But, um, well, there probably is. It's just, if you say something bad about it, people are just going to ban you for it for yeah. 10 years. Yeah. It's very, it's very loud as well, but nine that's years because maybe nine years to go. I'm nine years. Am I nine? Wait, so no, uh, no, probably not uh, eight and a half. And eight and a half. Let me back yet. It's 20, 30, 31. And my first thing, it'll be a the pe- Brisbane a Olympics will be on. Six. That's almost one year away from the Brisbane Olympics. That's oh. how far away until Paul could write. Maybe what you should do I won't be doing is any just when you no, no what you should do is just when your band lives, just put that po- put that Re-post article it. back up and see what happens. Another ten years. This prick's hanging shit on the PS5. We're on the PS7 now. Fuck it. I just change it from five to seven. They're not going to know the difference. Oh, yeah, they'll just see. Page. They'll just see something. They're like, hey, they say something bad about the PS7 or whatever the hell they call it, and just get really angry and then ban you again. Yeah, checks out. The internet is the best. The greatest place in the world for some things. Don't... Like, Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks and then just tell developers that it looks like shit. Like, just hang on there, son. You You don't know how... You you know how games are made. Yeah, well, they make it in a studio. Well, congratulations, you figured out one part of it. They also can do it at home, as we found out during the pandemic. And also, a dad from Poland, a single dad from Poland, can make one game Yeah. as well, which is... I haven't played that one yet. That's on the list Midnight of Fight. games yeah. to play next month. I assume you're talking about Midnight Fight Express? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I've had notes Keep on that the other... I've had notes on it, like, ages ago. I was looking through my notes in my little notepad. It came up and was like, all I wrote was, single dad from Poland made it. And that was the whole... <laughs> Don't notice. know what it's about. Like, Single dad did it. I was like, I was like, oh, okay, that game. I was like, ah, oh, single dad from Poland. I should probably play that. But going back to GTA, not GTA Horizon. Just uh, one brief thing on because we probably won't end up discussing the thing in a proper episode since we did Nintendo last week and uh, Nintendo and State of Play last week, and then obviously updates today. Yes, I, I okay. feel like like these people who are saying what it looks like shit and blah blah, blah all that sort of stuff that yeah, and you clearly don't know the industry sort of feedback from many of us. I feel like their idea is that video games are kind of made like, we'll design this whole area and it will be done. And then we'll design this whole area and it will be done. As opposed to like, these things all are done in one hit and the whole game comes together like that. When you like I you think, have all these pieces I, designed and then you hit go, you implement them and it applies across the entire game. I think people have been doing too much 3D printing. That's exactly. how I look at it. Because you see, you do your what that and then it comes out, boom, it's done. There's these things called textures, people. Like, it's amazing. This is a shocking thing. When you make something, it's all grey. There's there's nothing there. But even better, That's there's just really people... Good little, we, can, we can even... We can even go further than that. There's just people in stick figure motion yeah. walking around on a screen. Or people with ping pong balls on their face. Yeah. Because... Yeah, no. But no, but people don't know that because all they see is the finished product and don't watch the behind the scenes stuff. stuff. See, that's what you should do. And if you want to watch behind the scenes stuff, go watch Light and Magic on Disney Plus, and go watch it. Yeah, right. How how visual effects all came together, and probably video games. But yeah, leave me alone. Similarities, but yeah, that's interesting. I'll have to go check that one out. Anyway, sorry, I'll hijack that on you. So yeah, you've played Horizon. Yeah. So the first two hours. And so far, man, for a first-party game, it looks good. For a first-party game, it thought... says a lot, because the first-party games tend to look better than everything else. Yeah, but also, too, that there's been none on the Xbox Series X for oh, yeah. two years yeah. as well. So I've, I've played Gears 5. Gears 5 looked good, but it wasn't for Series X. It was for yeah. Xbox One. But this one is meant for PS5. And my God, that, that sunshine is brilliant. Well, just the lighted in general. Just look at it and go, wow. It's you're like, it's you're crazy. taking in all that peach fuzz on uh, Aloy's face. Oh, God. That's... No, I didn't even think about that. I just looked at it. wasn't looking at peach fuzz on Aloy's face. I was just looking at 
everything else, like snake monsters, because I was oh, like, I'm not, I was like, I don't want to, f I don't want to fight that damn thing, which you do. Which you do because it's, it's just one it of was them. kind of like pinned in place. Which it's part. Of, it's part of. The, it's part of the tutorial. You got no choice. Yeah. So, too bad. There'd but, be no way that you'd be able to beat it if it could actually move properly. Not oh yeah, no, no way. Not if you drop a giant spaceship on it. Of course, you're not gonna yeah. have any chance. <laughs> but it's so far for those first two hours. Bloody good. You play. Yeah, you played the original, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Of course I played the original. I played them the, re that's the right, original. That's right. This is something I've not done yet. Uh, and I highly recommend not doing it. It's the silliest thing ever. There's a, oh, I would say it's a lot of effort. It's not hard. It's just... I just looked at it, completed it, like, right, that's done. I'm not finishing the DLC part of it because I'm sick of going around in stupid Chasing shit machine... Down. Or no, just machine places. I can't remember what they're called. The underground stuff. The um the cauldrons. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. I was thinking of going around in cauldrons all the bloody time. Just is there anything else this DLC besides cauldrons? Maybe a tall neck every now and yeah, then. Yeah, tall neck every now and then. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah, I'm with you. And I'm with snow. you. On, on frozen wilds. But so that's that done. So it'll be more of that next month because that is That'd my game. next game to play next month, and then on to some other games now where am I going to start here okay we'll start from the start of the month of Cult of the Lamb oh, yeah yeah I still need to get back to it well I've completed it and all I can say is it's a bloody good game I highly recommend it and just what was it that you were loving the most I mean lots of people have been heaping shit on it for ages like it's all an awesome game I think it's just the gameplay itself is good it's not like hades where you just constantly get punished and have to go yeah. back to the start if you die it's okay you don't go back to the start or well, you do but it's you not bring like more progress with you than in hades. Bring more progress back but i think the funny funniest thing is because most other games you have like characters or whoever you recruit and you sort of like get connected to them because you think oh yeah you're my best buddy don't worry about that in this game they die no matter what oh yeah so you yeah. might so you don't just get attached you like Oh, who should I sacrifice today? Oh, you're old. You'll do. Yeah, you'll do. Whoever makes most sense, just go for them. Because you like, oh, there's old. Because you don't want to. You don't want a cult with old people. They'll just all die and. And who who listens sad. to old people anyway? No one. Yeah, you're old and out of date. Sacrifice. I mean, if, you did, if you if you really want to kill them all off, just give them some bad food. From... Oh just yeah, that's throw right. them in. Throw them in the grave or put them as fertilizer as you can do for one part of it yeah i know the bit i think no, but either way it is a fun game and i need to come you saw you saw know what you saw know what's going to happen anyway it's obvious from the start you know what's going to happen with certain bits and pieces even i picked it up but it doesn't really matter who cares it's just all about it's like farmville but just with sacrificial Animals. Ah, yeah. lamb. I was to say, yeah. I, yeah, I, for no, some no, reason I keep calling it lambs, lamb. but there's no lambs. It's just a lamb. Yeah, you are the one of, lamb and you sacrifice lamb. everything else. You're one lamb. Everything else, which is great. And made by a Melbourne team. Yeah, so massive bosses are awesome. Yes. And gradually just making sure they tick off like everyone from the team on Dev Diary at this rate. I mean, who would have thought that Games Australia actually make money? For our, years. Our indies smash it. For years. Like, they get no government, like, rebates or anything from... It's like, oh, but we make so much money. But government's like, no, you're not getting any money. Pandemic hits. Oh, hey, guess what, guys? We're taking some of your money off People you. People like, like video games during the pandemic when they can't did go you know, We should probably throw some yes, money at this and other games, Yes, other games that are not Grand Theft Auto, as the seems that every politician knows that game. That's all a that. game... From 2013, so nine years ago, and they know, and there's been far more violent games since. I mean, way violent. Don't tell them about yeah. Mortal Kombat 11, because they won't be too happy about that one. Ah, uh, they're still banging on about Mortal Kombat since or the, the early Park. 90s when when it first came out. So don't tell them about South Park either. Well, someone did tell them about South Park, and they got that stuff banned and made it even better. So. Yeah, it didn't 
yeah, well done, it, Australian yeah, government. The, the ratings board actually yeah, hit a home run for us with that one. So, I, which one was it? Which I called the lamb. So, yes, I did that one. And then I played it. Were you going to say something? Oh, I was going to say, yeah. like, uh, is there anything else on the PS5? Or, like, I don't want to. Uh, yes. All right, I'll leave it. was I'll a small bit. Later. I'll do it now because I didn't play too much of it. The game that has been I've been holding on to for four years. Oh. And I oh. thought, you know what? It's time to play Boy Simulator 2018. Oh, boy. Yes. I've played the first wait. hour. I've played the first hour. And so far, my God, it is great. That axe. So oh. what are you sticking mm. with at this point? Are you going to stick, like, what? Well, what's the main focus? Is it Horizon or God of War? Horizon. Yeah, okay. Because uh, you know that's, that one more. I know that one more because uh, God of War. So I'm not as excited for which I probably will be playing the first era of it because I played God of War, all the God of War games. The PS2 on PS2 the PS3, PS2, PS3. Yeah. PS2, PS3. I played God of War three, finished it, and the end. It was just like, oh, cool. No, it's like it. he could be back, but we'll see. It's like when he said, "Oh, there's another God of War game." I was like, "How is that? How is that possible? It may happen. I might find out in this one. I don't know." He's got no, a big scar. They, they don't. They don't talk at all about how the games kind of bridge. I just like remember, and I don't know if you do, but like from the end of God of War three, like there's the there's the scene how the fight kind of ends, and then the camera kind of comes back. I think I think it was a post credits thing, if I remember right, or like a mid credits or whatever, where the camera pans back to and spoilers for anyone. God of War three it came out in twenty ten. At this point, you've had more than enough time. Um, the camera pans back to the spot where the fight was and where Kratos' body was, and it's gone. Like the, we the also should add in too. That's kind of their like, implication. We, that... We'll go back a little bit further. At the end of God of War 3, Kratos stabs himself. Yeah. Yeah. And dies. Killing, well, apparently, well, seems... actually, we don't know if he actually dies. He just stabs himself and just passes out. That's how you can look at it because there's no, no saying that he actually did die because. Well, he clearly didn't. Clearly didn't. There was no and you blood. See, there like was. God of War, and I assume you've noticed it with 2018. Like you noticed yeah. this, like the. Yeah, the, the zipper the down the front there, yeah. Yeah, I noticed the scar straight away. I was like, oh, so did he recover from his big, big stab? I was like, that's a massive, that's a massive wound. If that was the case, that, that was the first thing I looked at. I was like, hey, that's a scar. I know that scar. It might not be that Never scar, but these scars. But I've only played an hour of it. I, I got up to the part with the stranger. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, and I didn't know the fight with the stranger, or I know I fought the stranger, and I. Push, kindly let the stranger off the cliff. Just let him go, on his way. Never to be seen again. And then, and then, and then we're back to the boy. And then that's where the v adventure begins. That's a slightly less smaller tutorial that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but you now. I'm oh, I was no, saying, right. but, but that axe. Oh man, that axe is. I like that axe. It's gonna be pretty epic when you like you know off the back of the most recent trailer, which I know you haven't seen. Um, you deliberately didn't watch. Done. It ends with. Hang on, we got Nordic gods, so you know, you know of. There's obviously one particularly iconic. Yeah, Thor's Nordic. there. Yeah, Thor. Um, yeah. Like the the both Kratos and Thor throwing the their axe slash hammer at each other. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be something. Um, like the the tra like the trailer ends with them throwing the throwing their weapon at each other. The weapons collide. The God of War title, Ragnarok's title, splashes across the screen for as long as it needs to, and then very quickly comes uh, cuts back to the both weapons kind of flying back to the hands of the other, uh, the, the respective person, and then like having a swing, and then it cuts. I'm like, oh, that's that's how you want to highlight how cool that, those weapons are. Yeah, I honestly felt like an Avenger, just throwing a hammer and coming it yeah. coming back. Yeah, it's it's definitely got that feel. And the way the control, like the vibrations in the controller work for it, like you feel the clunk as it comes back and hits the controller. Oh, really? I don't pay attention to that. And I don't, I don't was... mean in like the PS5 sort of level because I, I don't I don't remember. I don't, I don't think, think they so. patched any PS5 no. like up, you know, updates into it for specific PS5 use. I think it's just it was just like kind of the natural sort of thing. Like when that controller feel, comes back, it's not through the triggers, but just through the controller itself, you feel the kind of weight of it as it hits Kratos' hand again. Oh, well, there you go. I'll pay, I'll pay attention to that when I get yeah, back to it. Back in. Well, I've got to do it before November because you got a bit of time. I've got a collector's edition with a with a hammer. Yeah, true. 
and some dice, which... Let's see, this, see, I buy one collector's edition, now I'm addicted to this shit. I should also say, too, I am now level 4. At EB. Remember, at EB, because i got a PS4. So I can get a two-for-one t-shirt deal now for my level 4. And did you then scope out the number, like the t-shirts that they've got, or...? Not yet. I'm about to, I'll find that out. I just got an email today saying, hey, congratulations, you're level four. I thought, oh, great. Well, why didn't they give me a card? They gave me a 25th anniversary card, but not a level four card. Just, I I mean, I, I don't think they even use the cards anymore. I think it's more about the the app. Oh, sorry, like the I don't website. use an app. Sorry, I'm not the app. Done. Just like open up the website on your phone and just scan. Oh, well, I don't do that. Four. Yeah. Oh, doesn't matter. But that's the early days of Boy Simulator 2018. I'm excited for you. You'll love it. Oh, I'm excited too. And then the other games, probably not as exciting, but we'll find out. I played an oldie game. I thought, oh, go back and play this and see if it's still good. And that was Bioshock Infinite. Oh, yeah, cool. And, well, holds up. here's the thing. I put it in my top 10 of games from the last decade. Yep. I'm starting to second guess that. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Because I, I think it's just the fact that I actually paid attention to the story this time, and I've never been so confused in my life. Oh, yeah. It's, it's because confusing. it's just the, the ending's like, okay, I still don't get it. I, I kind of do, but I don't. But then you start asking questions, but how do you get here to there? How's it all work? Blah, blah, blah. If you've got to dive into YouTube space to you know, get the people who to. are kind of connecting all the dots to make sure you understand the story, it's probably when you know that you've gone, like the you know the team responsible in this case, um, Irrational, have gone a little bit too far. That would be my argument. Like, I think if, if you ever need to go online to kind of get someone, not just like a recap, but like someone that actually explains the whole thing. If most people have got to almost, do that to make sense of it, then it's, it's too much. It's probably almost a lecture you have to go through just to yeah. explain. But but the other thing is too, with the top 10 games, I think it's probably because I've played other games from that decade that, that I didn't play when we did that list. Yeah. I'm looking at it now going, yeah, I would probably put that in the top 10 now instead of that game. Yeah, with There's you. a fair few. There's a fair few, I reckon. Because my, I think my 6 to 10, I was a bit unsure of. I think I had another 10 games that I had to put into 5. My 5 were locked in. There's no change in yeah. those 5. It's just the bottom 6 to 10 that were an um and nah. I mean, Infinite would probably, probably be in my top 10 I, from that from that generation. But I don't know if... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think... My, my plan is to go back and play all of the Bioshocks after the next one is actually announced. Just like kind of r- that ride is. that wave of energy that's going to come. And I feel like that's got to be super close now with that announcement. But um, with all the talk that it's set in Antarctica and, and all those sorts of what? things. What? So, yeah. Antarctic? No, yeah. They've run out of ideas. Is it the first game to ever be um, located on Antarctica? No, probably not. Um, there's, probably, there's probably a simulator out there like Lara, Antarctica there simulator time. oh yeah Nicholas Cage was there once well that's he's yeah, yeah. national treasure but Nicholas Cage has been everywhere yeah exactly has he been to Mars probably yeah I'm sure there's got to be a movie where he's gone there too I was thinking Ghost Rider he's, he's had a flame in the head and uh he was and a Spider-Man he recorded that one down our neck of the woods did oh yeah that one yeah ghost rider and the knowing which was around our local area as well yeah oh yeah that can you yes good times Uh, you can tell yes you can look at the petrol station go i know where that petrol station is he drives out of he's also spider man but anyway let's not worry about that and then so we're done on to bioshock and then oh which one should we go to next you've only got Uh, like two left or something well, we'll just throw Fortnite in there again because I was playing a little bit of Fortnite. I, I decided to go for the whole season this time and see how things go. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's the same thing. It's good because I'm just um, actually, I'm just owning, I think, 
wasn't twelve year olds and last what? year that you were like no live service. That was. Oh, I think I was last year. And I failed. You, yeah. But I don't play Apex anymore. Yeah. Okay. One in, one no out. No more. That's fine. No bro. more. Yes, because Fortnite's a lot more fun than Apex, and I get more kills in Apex. Than, no, I get more kills in Fortnite than I do Apex. Because yeah, of all those bots, all those bots and twelve-year-olds that are just mind their own business, and then I come along and just shoot them in the head. They're probably on the other end, just having a cry, yeah, and squealing. Likely, and then their parents would come That's in actually. and you go, well, "Shut up!" Look, oh, there's there's a few things better than heckling a like prepubescent teen. Well, heckling him, just just. Just shot him in the head and... Well, making him feel bad. That was... Ruining, that was, his, uh, ruining his day. Uh, Probably only got a limited time on his little console and I'm just there, just... Not giving him a good time. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's good putting him back in their place. And I'm going back to a, like a footy story here, but like one of the things I enjoyed the most out of the, the grand final yesterday wasn't... I mean, obviously it was the result, but it was the fact that I very conveniently had to like... They would have been... They would have been probably 12, maybe 13 at the oldest. Um, kids sitting in the row in front, and they were Richmond supporters. And, very, yeah, there's, there's a lot of neutrals that will go to the grand final. If there's an opportunity to go, they go. Um, and they were they were trying to heckle the whole uh, the whole time and whatnot. And then very conveniently, Tom Stewart flattened someone at one, one stage. And I very deliberately like drew comparisons between that and the, the hit on Dion Pressy that knocked him into next week and sure got Tom Stewart suspended for a few weeks but whatever highlighted that one those two kids just went dead silent for the rest of the game beautiful yeah probably because they probably get like a jumped by a whole heap of Geelong supporters oh, too no, they never had that sort of concern it was just a, a shot across the bow like kid you start chirping don't worry you'll get put in your place very quickly you don't have the IQ to go with this Ooh. and that's it we moved on Ooh. Those peroxide tips. That all all, you, just, all you just have to yell out is Joe Danaher and... Or, or say, <laughs> The Ark. Yeah. How's The Ark? Yeah. Yeah. Well, are, the, are the goalposts long enough for you here? Anyway. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll move away from that. No more footy stuff. No. For now. Back to Fortnite. No, not... We're done with Fortnite. Just owning, owning 12-year-olds and good bots. Fun. It's good fun. Wasting their time. And then, on to the next game, which is on Games Pass, out of all places. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that, you know, you've had an Xbox for the entire generation so far and that you did actually play a game on it? And guess what? It's still not a first-party game either. Well, that's not a surprise. What a surprise. It is Metal Hellsinger. Oh, yeah, cool. And, we were talking oh, about man. how we both played the demo a while back. Yes. What it's do you like, the final one? I... Uh, well, no, I say it's great. I'm gonna say great. Yes, it's not Doom, but who cares? Doom's Doom. That's Bethesda's got like billions of dollars. This is just some yeah. Swedish. Indie, indie Doom. It? Yeah, indie Doom. I think it's like a Swedish company. I can't remember. Scandinavian somewhere. Yeah. And I would say if you love rhythm and music, this is the game for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I actually had a lot of fun with it. The bosses were a bit. I found it a bit boring because yeah, okay. it just felt like the same bosses every I've heard time. A bit but repetitive, yeah, yeah, repetitive. But other than that, it's like one of those those old levels back in the day where you just go back and play it again just because. That's what it felt like to me because you just go listen to the song again and just get a high score. Yep. And see how your score is compared to other people that have played it, and you just go from there. Yeah, right. It's great. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. It's just. I'm not sure if it probably I'll will be in the uh, top five. Yeah, it would be one of my... I've actually played on PC, not the console. I mean, that'd be the best experience for it. I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. I was looking at it going, I'm not doing a first-person shooter like this on controller. I'll go... I could try it, but I don't know if I... Sort of with first-person shooters, I just don't... It just doesn't work for me. Well, well, actually, I played Doom Eternal on Xbox. I don't know what I'm saying, but... No, but you're like I think you're right, though. Like There's the natural lack of precision that you get with a controller versus the mouse and keyboard and then you layer on top of that the fact that you've got to play it in rhythm as well like yeah, that yeah makes it even harder I'd imagine especially 
Yeah, especially on control, because otherwise you'd just be just there clicking away, triggering away, I should say. Yeah. And not hearing any music and asking yourself why you're not doing any damage, because you're not in rhythm not or in rhythm. time. But no, it I'll, is... I'll get to it at some point. I'll probably yeah. end up playing it on console, but I'll get to it at some point. Yeah, I mean, it might not be for everyone, and that's understandable because of the style of music it is. Yeah, it's typically not my sort of level yeah. of music, but I enjoyed the demo. I was shit at it, but I enjoyed the demo. Uh, yeah, but you don't have to be good at it to just have fun with it, that's for sure. You you crack it down to easy, can't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I did, because I was just not hearing the music, I was just getting like the instrumental side of things and no singing, and I thought, nah, I'm going to put it down to easy. And you still get punished for it, like, you still have a fun time. Yeah, right. And that's what I did. I decided to go for a fun time and not not a hard time. Probably right call, actually. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's a whole other can of worms, the the difficulty and accessibility sort of thing. So we won't... There ain't no Dark time, Souls. But... We can all relax, people. It's not nothing from From Software, so just calm down. Just don't, yeah, don't, don't... Get the pitchforks away. We don't want to deal with any of it. Well, you can bring the pitchforks if you want. That that style of our genre, you can bring your pitchfork. Well, yeah, not yeah, not those ones then, I guess. Maybe just bring a torch. Yeah, like an Light old shit torch. Up. Get angry. Yeah, bring your lighters. Any other games? One more. So, oh, one more. We got one more. And oh man, well, yeah, okay. It's not. Oh man, it's not difficult. It's just one of the things on my New Year's re- resolutions. Oh yeah, that more to Witcher. do. The Witcher 2, I've officially started. Oh. Started. oh. I'm close to finishing, I think. I mean, this is the final stages, but... Yeah. I, I forgot how much I enjoyed this game. Good. I it's, remember enjoying it a lot, but it's been a long, long time. Especially, like, because we're both big fans of the Wild Hunt, and you just sort of hear all the stories leading up to the Wild Hunt. There's stories about Yennefer. There's a story about... Talking about Siri in there, I thought I don't remember them talking about Siri, but they do. There was such a long gap between games that there's yeah, you don't kind of connect a few of those things up. Yeah, and then you go back. He's every like merchant girl goes to. He always asks, "Have you got anything about the Wild Hunt?" And everyone says, "No, they don't want to know about the Wild Hunt." So everything about those first two games was all leading up to one big event. Where it was meant to wrap everything up, and then it made so much money they've decided. Gonna need you know to do what? more Witcher. Let's do Cyberpunk. Interestingly, the Cyberpunk player count has now topped The Witcher. See, that's what happens when you have a. I know, but there's no. I was, there is a TV show, you idiot. But yeah, Witcher's had its TV show. As well, I say, it's but. Not done. They've got it's another one. What they announced today, I think, as of, like Sunday, as of when we record, that the, the spin off series is out at Christmas time. And, and the season three is wrapped up, so they're, yeah. that's all good to go sometime. But. Yeah, but as I say, but it has a TV show. But most people will probably read the books, not the, know about the game. But where yeah. Cyberpunk, they probably watch the Netflix series and then go, you know what? I'm going to give it another go. Video games. And there you go. It's, and it's resurrected it, which is which is good. I mean, it's great to see that it's getting another chance by people or yeah, people are yeah. just going and giving it a go because it's probably on sale as well. Well, I think if it's, it's not on. the broken mess that it once was, then it makes it far easier for people, I think. Um, it's also these are on this is on Steam as well, is it? So it's all PC or yeah, it's, Steam it's, on yeah, Xbox. It's, it's PC, Xbox, PlayStation. You yeah. I oh, think there you go. Yeah, it's it's available pretty much everywhere at this point. Um, yeah, and I think the other the other layer when you do compare Witcher to Cyberpunk is that like people weren't bo- weren't burnt by The Witcher, so when they watched the TV series, there was some people like, you know, I, I could go play it, but I've already done it. Whereas when it comes to Cyberpunk, there's plenty of people that... No one's played it. No one's played I think it's because... also, too, if you have played The Witcher, you know, especially if you played 3, you're going, I could play it, but it's really long. Yeah, it's 100 hours, like, um, minimum. Minimum, 100. Like you don't, if you don't want to spend five days playing one game, then probably go play something else. Exactly. Um, so... Yeah, and I think yeah, you kind of combine those things, and it's easy to see why the Witcher's numbers spiked a lot, but not to the, the current cyberpunk sort of level. Yeah, good on them. And I hope that I hope they can sort it out. And there is some DLC coming out next year as well, which I'm oh, yeah, somewhat true. excited yeah. about. 
which I never thought I'd say. I never thought I'd be say you'd be excited for some DLC for a game that started off not well. Yeah. But they have been fixing it. So that's the good thing. They haven't done an EA and gone, you know what? We're not fixing it. Done. And we'll make, we're going to make you look bad because you didn't finish the game and no one's heard from them since. Yeah. They really haven't. We haven't really heard much from Bioware since the disaster of... Of Anthem, yeah. Anthem. I mean, they've announced no, Dragon a, Age the, multiple times, but they've not really and, shown it. And, Mass, and showed something from Mass Effect about three years ago, oh, and we yeah, haven't seen true. anything since. Yeah, I don't know. Go figure. But we saw it in the final stages of The Witcher 2, which would be great because it's going to be fun trying to finish The Witcher. It's going to be fun trying to finish The Witcher 3 within by midnight. And eleven fifty nine New Year's Eve. While you're playing Horizon, God of War, God of War Ragnarok, and God oh, knows what else before the end of the year. Oh, I was going to say Saint Row, but that's not going to take too long. But and it's probably an easy one to kick to the curb if you, if, if need be, considering how it was received. Yeah, but the, I don't know if they fixed it or not. I don't really want to touch it, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm still waiting for them to do another. Because when they say when they say hot fix, that just means to me it's like they haven't fully fixed it yet. They just someone said, "Hey, that doesn't work. Stuck a hey, probably on should it. fix it. Hey, that door's not textured right. Oh, we better fix that. Hey, that puddle's not big enough. Oh, let's make that puddle bigger. Very choice references. I like what you're doing. And God knows what else. Hey, that person's face doesn't exist. Oh, we probably should fix that too. Make sure on your PS5 to play Astrobot. Rest, uh, the, yeah, no, I was looking at that. The, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was actually with the PS5. It comes. It's just bundled with in. the PS5. Yeah. Bundled in. And I thought it's like, oh, it's Astro's Playroom. I thought, nah, Horizon first. Yeah, if you want to learn about what that control is, Horizon. Do, Astrobot's the way to go, and it'll only take you two hours. Oh, is that all? Yeah, it's it's literally just a built-in demo, pretty much. Oh, pretty wonderful. Quick, Maybe pretty, I'll... Pretty quick and easy plat in the process. There you go. But setting that aside, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really good game slash demo. Oh, wonderful. Uh, there's another game to just to add to the list of games. Oh but my at God. least this is a quick one. But at least it's a quick the worst, one. You know what the worst part is? It's not even 2023 yet. Yeah, I'm right. here worried about like four games. And then there's Gotham Knights somewhere down the track as well. Gotham the... Knights is now less than a month away. As like uh, Tales of the Borderlands as well. Oh man, I'm I'm getting stressed about yeah this this coming month specifically, which we'll get to I guess shortly. So I might quickly pl- oh. uh, plow through mine because I don't have a huge number of games to talk about, and then we can start to panic about October and everything else that comes afterwards. And um, then 2023 just as a whole. Yeah. So I began the month playing uh, The Last of Us Part One, which. People kind of knew, I think I was able to talk about the fact that I was playing it when we did our updates last month, but wasn't able to say any more because of the review. Um, and I still, I won't spend too much time on it because I guess heaps of people have spoken about it and everything's been said already, including, you know, even my own thoughts in my review. But um, it's as good as you remember it. And um, visually... Well, not to it some is... people. Some dickheads are complaining about it. go, ooh, it's so shit. Look, we won't even start on the uh, Steve Wrights of the world and their dodgy botched. Uh, I wasn't lies, talking about that. It's just people giving it, or people just giving it a bad review just because it's called the because last. Sony of doesn't this. like them. But um, oh yeah, sorry, I'm just banging on about Steve Wright. I'll, I'll move on from that uh, and his horrendous reviews um, and reviewing processes and lack of backbone anyway moving on um so yeah the, hey, the, was that a, was that a promotion that was a oh yeah no was yes. that a plug no um see it pack steve anyway uh so yeah the last was uh part one Wait, steve listens to this show uh probably not uh but who knows maybe he's heard steve, uh, maybe he knows now maybe, hey, steve. maybe he's crying in the corner eating ice cream we don't know um oh i won't continue to cause drama on this show we'll move on uh I've been messing around with uh, Justice Sucks, which was a it's it's a game about like a little Roomba vacuum. Um, Samurai Punk, a local team makes it. Uh, like it's a bloodthirsty Roomba. Um, well, it's like a vampire, a vampire Roomba. Not a vampire. Like it just like people break. Uh, th- there's, this is kind of the second game. It's almost in some parts like a remaster of the original, but then it just adds a shit ton of stuff afterwards. There was a game called uh, Roombo First Blood that came out three years ago 
Oh and it was, it was a very small, like, half-hour sort of game that you could... Um, like, basically, people broke into the house and the family had left, so it was literally just down to the, the Roomba to kind of protect the house from the... And so, like, for whatever reason, the Roomba's got the ability to hack all the, uh, all the so electronics and the... Why, did they and... Call it, why didn't they call it Roomba Alone or something? Yeah. If the family had left. But, um... Or... Yeah, it... Like, the first one was good, but really really short and pretty pretty basic so this one they kind of rebuilt that first level set some new missions in it and then added about like four or five different other regions afterwards for you to kind of explore in like a larger plot the plot is pretty loose and stupid but it was never really meant to be i mean this is the same team responsible for for screen cheat and the the vr game the american dream which uh, do you know that one no like everything is like the whole thing is a piss take on the americans and their love of guns right down the point where like there's babies like who can't reach their toys and like you know like in the cot they've got the little i've gone blank on the name we've got them in our my kids room but like those little things no, that there goes around and, like with all the toys and whatever it happens to be oh, uh, kid, kid a can't sh- reach it so yeah. it whips a gun out and oh, shoots the toys yeah. down like it's it, it, like the whole thing is a complete piss take the studio loves like that's you know, kind of oh. irreverent sort of humor um and like they've brought that again with uh, Justice Sucks this time the the sequel slash remaster, one point five whatever you want to call it, um, but I had a great time with it. The reviews up on the Player Two website, so go check that one out. Um, I've been playing Camped Out, um, which oh well, the re- PAX one yeah from from years ago at PAX um, the team uh, dro- uh, dropped me a code for that or a couple codes in the end because I got uh, Buddy Watson to come across and do a review discussion with me while I also wrote wrote the written review. Buddy has been mad about that game, like I have been since. It was... I got. I got to ask the question. Did that um video get double the dislikes, as usual? Oh, I'll have to. I'll have to take a look. I have not checked that. I'm when. Jeez, I'm. I'm picking, picking fights with everyone in the industry. Dan Allen, I'm coming for you next. All right. There's there's the three big uh, dodgy villains in the Australian games media that I've just got. Oh, and dead, the dead, dead, dead. Dan, don't ruin it for everyone. Don't be a dickhead. I've gone for the big three in terms of the dodgy people in in the space of what five minutes, ten minutes. This is a good episode. Dan, Steve, and Dan. it is. We're just we're just taking. Dan, we're just Alan, going... Steve, Wright. I've gone for. Gone for I've gone the trilogy. We're we're going. Do for we it. do we want to throw Jim Wright in there just just cause? Just to change things up. Yeah. Um. Old old tantrum, old tantrum, oh, Jim. Cry baby, Jim. Um. But yeah, camped out. Camped out's awesome. Um. There's there's some rough edges and there's things like uh like. So the whole idea, I guess it, it is kind of that overcooked style game for anyone unaware of it. Um, the first thing you do, like you, it's about setting up camp and making sure that you're good before the uh, before the sun disappears. And then you, I don't know, if you don't make it, the wolves eat you or some shit, who knows. But um, you don't actually see wolves eat anyone. It's just like you fa- like a fail scream when it gets to night time. He would time. scream. Um you just see like some eyes light up in the background like holy fuck these kids are just gonna be eaten but um so you, the first thing you do is you arrive and you've got like your backpacks there and you start taking all the stuff out of your backpack that's the very first job is you literally walk over your backpack and just mash the A button and if you're playing on the Switch um mash the A button until everything's emptied but then the all the items kind of weirdly stack on each other and the collision's a little bit awkward with all the items. So you find yourself picking up... Like, I'm trying to get the tent. Can't get the tent because I'm grabbing this. So, you know, the, the cooking pot instead or I'm, I am grab the rope, whatever it happens to be. Everything kind of gets in the way of it itself, which is a bit frustrating. But, um... I'll, like, there, there's small things along those lines, things that can be pretty easily cleaned and patched up. So... Uh, I'm keen to see what happens when they give the game a little bit more time in the post and kind of take on some of the feedback they've received from any other reviews um, or player feedback now that the game is actually out there for everyone to play. The game's on Switch and PC if anyone's unaware. So check it out. Um, Beyond that, yeah, there's not a hell of a lot. Uh, I've recently started playing Shovel Knight Dig, which is the the latest Shovel Knight game. they're starting to churn them out a little bit now, though. I think they're working with other developers because their their main work at Yacht Club is on this new kind of Zelda, like uh, Link to the no Link's Awakening style um, game called Mina the Hollower. But um, Shovel Knight Dig is pretty cool so far. It's kind of it, uh, it seems straightforward enough. Like I've just been a little bit too impatient, and I've I've taken cheap hits and damage. It, there's kind of roguelite elements to it. Like you go and do a run 
you die, you'll lose maybe 10, 15, 20% of your, your gems, but everything else comes back with you. So you can use that to kind of improve your gear and continue to build yourself up so you can have that awesome run. What I, From what I read, not that I've hit the end yet, but from what I read, it's about four hours long. So it's not... It's not that long. Yeah. There's only about four kind of levels of this dungeon that you progress through. And I've been getting to the third one more often than not. So I'm not... I'm not far off. I just need to uh, either improve a few things or show a bit more discipline and patience and I'll probably probably get through it. So enjoying it so far, but probably more to say next month. And the only other thing there, and it feels like it's even a little bit redundant because the game's out in like two days, but I tried out the uh, Valkyrie Elysium demo that Square Enix put out. Um, one of the million JRPGs that are coming out, which links into the conversation we'll have after this about all the, all the games that are coming. But... Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Really, really enjoying it. It's kind of got the... Like, it's an action RPG. It's far closer to, like, near and those sorts of games than than a turn-based sort of Final Fantasy or anything like that. Like, it's not menu-heavy. It's all pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, you've kind of got these different... Uh, like, spe- oh, I've, got, I've gone blank on the name. Like, it's it's a Nordic setting as well. So, like, you're, you're doing... You're Odin's shit kicker. But, um... As, as a Valkyrie unsurprisingly but um you've kind of got like these spirit things that can kind of imbue your weapons in different ways um with different elements so like you you engage the particular spirit who comes out to help you but it also imbues your weapon with an ice ability or whatever and so like by doing that you can kind of exploit the weaknesses of various different enemies and stuff um it's all pretty well done like that but um i'm just keen to check out the full game at this point um if people do want to see it in action go check out the player two plays but i'll be keen to based on the demo, but I'm keen to play the full game when it comes out later this week. But that's that's all of my, my games that I've been playing. Um, I've been kind of dabbling with things on the side to just try out the, the, the backbone for the sake of the review that's up on the site, but nothing like in any sort of proper way. Like I was just, you know, let's see how this AAA game goes here. Let's try out this indie game that I've played. Like they're all things I've played and just gone back to for 20 minutes to see how those experiences work on the mobile sort of setting. So... Nothing that I necessarily need to discuss there, but yeah, next month, um, October's going to get bad, so what's on the slate? Uh, finish off The Witcher 2, Start then the get on to so, well, Witcher 3. No, I've got to wait for the, um, the, whatever you call it, the Xbox PS5 next-gen version. Oh, yeah. Which is December, so that's just going to not go well. But finish The Witcher 2, get on to Forbidden West, and maybe Boy Simulator. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's that, that's going to keep you pretty busy. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about new releases at that point. Yeah, that's something it. will come up. And go, oh, man, I've got to play that too. I was say, I'll not say Dro. Say Dro can just sit on the shelf. I was going to say next year. 2024, Saint Dro. Oh, that's, what, that's what I'll be playing, Saint Dro. In 2024. Yeah, yeah, don't rush to that one, I don't think. Um... For anyone watching or listening, this is going to traumatise you with the number of games that I'm about to rattle off that are all pretty viable big games that are coming out in the next month. Um, ignoring Valkyrie releasing, which I obviously just mentioned is the very end of um, September. But in October, you've got Overwatch 2, you've got A Plague Tale Requiem, you've got Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, you've got Scorn, oh, no. New Tales from the Borderlands, oh. Gotham Knights, oh. Star Ocean, The Divine Force, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Bayonetta 3, all coming in October, and I'm sure there's probably something I've missed there that, for whatever reason. I forgot about a Plague Tale. Games Pass has been promoted for like the last six months. It's, hey, get download this game. Like it doesn't come out to October Xbox. Just calm down. Yeah, I don't want it yet. Like there's a lot of those Gotham games Knights. that I mentioned that I'm keen on, which is a concern as well. Like Gotham Knights. I forgot about Gotham Knights as well. Gotham Borderlands, Rabbids. I need to play the original Plague Tale, but I don't see how I'm going to get that done before Requiem at this point. I think that's a big Good. disadvantage for me. Good I think luck. I need to play the original first. So we'll see how that goes. And then Bayonetta 3 at the end of the month is really, really enticing as well. So it's going to get ugly. I, I don't even know where I'm necessarily going to start. Like, I'm just going to get to what I get to, I think, let alone the backlog that I've still got to work through. Plus Valkyrie coming this week. Diefield Chronicles out. And I, that's sitting there. I've just got to play it. It's nuts. I don't like it. There's too many games. There's too many damn games. I remember the day. I remember the days where there weren't enough games. Yeah. Give me those days. Yeah. Give me those days. 
or at least give us like two or three months consecutively like that so that we can catch up and then be good for a big month. Yeah, just give us a rest period where we can just catch up on all our games and you can go back to your holiday yeah. stuff and then release more games. It's insane. I, yeah, I don't even know what to do at this point. And November's not light either. So, it's a shit show. We'll, we'll find a way through it. Um, any other thoughts, though? Or we'll wrap this one up. Uh, yeah, just, just be nice to developers. Leave yeah, them alone. Yeah, don't be assholes, developers. And know how games are made. And um, write your own bloody reviews. <sighs> yeah. Or stop leaking Stop leaking shit. Gameplay. Dan. Oh, I mean, he didn't leak the he didn't leak the GTA gameplay, but no, yeah, spoiled well, Assassin's Creed. Dan, Dan, Dumbrick. Dan did something even more sillier than that. Broke NDAs, literal legal agreements. Oh well, dumbass. Good, is a better um line up to Centrelink then, Dan. You're gonna get you're gonna get to know him. All right, I won't I won't revel in that too much. Uh, we'll wrap things up there. If you enjoyed that episode of Patch, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All the buttons down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live. That includes more Patched, Player 2 Players, Gamer School, and a whole bunch more. Awesome stuff there. Please subscribe and go and check it out. And that's the first time in a while where I've not gone to say more Player 2 Players, which is, you know, self five. Um, visit the website, player2.net.au, for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, Patched, the Player 2 Pixel Cast, and Dev Diary. Matt has got something to say. Or you can now just type in. Player2.au. Oh, yeah, player2.au. Holy shit, that's going to take me a while to get used to. Oh, it's still in the thing at the bottom. I'll have to fix that up at some point. It should be an easy fix. Anyway, um, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au. Yep. Oh, now I'm questioning everything. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is I'm right. I'm looking at it on the bottom left. I'm looking at it on my screen. Good. Um, uh, lower tiers early access, high tiers monthly episode exclusives, and finally there's Twitter. Matto. Matto underscore Phil. Paul James Games for myself. The play, uh, the website is player2au. And until next week, where God knows what we'll have to talk about, there's a lot going on. And we are, at that point, like a week away, or just change away from PAX at that point. Um, we'll see how we go. Oh, so much walking. Yeah, there's a lot of walking. Stand well, in. They're basically not doing anything at PAX this year, so maybe it'll be a nice, easy one for us. Yeah, no Xbox, no PlayStation. No Nintendo, no anything. No Nintendo. The shoe haze coming. And that's awesome. Yeah. Surprise, 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 um, pop up, a pop up store. Yeah. The PlayStation. I'll spend all this time with Shu Hey. It'll be great. I'll tail that guy the, the, everywhere he goes. Um, until next week, thanks a lot for watching. Don't write any dodgy reviews, and we'll see you later.